three fours plus five six. Okay, what you have to identify first is what type of numbers are you dealing with? Right? Whole numbers are easier to deal with. Fractions are harder. So these are fractions. And you gotta figure out which operation are you doing between these two you're adding. So addition of fractions has its own set of rules. Right? Every different operation, math operation, multiply, divide, add, or subtract, they all have their own unique set of rules when dealing with fractions. So number one rule is you can't add or, or subtract fractions until you have the same denominator. Once you have the same denominator, you put all the numerators over your new same denominator, just one, you mush them all into a single denominator, and then you do the math with the numerators. So let's let's take this with the same denominator. What could it be? Hmm. So there's my fraction bar. So the the same denominator has to have all the factors of all denominators. Say that again. The same denominator has to have all factors of all denominators. So let's break our factors down into I'm sorry, let's let's break our denominators down into what is prime factors, right? So 4 is 2 times 2, 6 is 2 times 3. Da -da 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 -da. So, let's build our all factors of all denominators new denominator. Okay? So there's a 2. I'm going to drag it down to the new place, 2. There's another 2. I'm going to drag that one down. So I got both of these factors. These guys are taken care of. Let's switch over to the second fraction. So there's a 2 already. Right? But I have one down there. I already have a 2 as a factor. So I don't need this one. I'm just going to hold off on that one. But there is a 3. Right? I, I have that 2 taken care of, but this 3 is not there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that 3 down there as uh, a factor. So our new common denominator is 2 times 2 times 3. Let me clean it up a little bit for you. So what do we do next? We need to expand our fractions into equivalent fractions with the new same denominator. Expanding a fraction is just like the opposite of reducing a, fra a fraction. Instead of taking out fractional factors that equal 1, we're adding a fractional factor in that equals 1 that we're going to multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by. So that, that sounds kind of complicated, but it's not. So let's, let's start with 3 fourths. Okay, 3 over 2 times 2. That is missing, right? I got 2 times 2. It's missing that 3. So I'm going to put a factor of 3 on the bottom. And the rule of algebra is whatever you multiply by the bottom, you're going to multiply by the top. Now I want you to look at this. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That's what we're doing. We're expanding a fraction. Okay, it's it's its new expanded version is going to be the same value as its reduced version. Okay, so but let's go ahead and multiply the top. Right, three times three is nine. Over two times two times three. So let's move to the other fraction, and you'll see that it, it looks like it's missing a two. Right, it's got one two and one three. This one's got two two, so we're gonna add a fraction. Uh, we're gonna add a factor of two on the bottom. And again, what we do to the bottom, we do to the top, and that's a big one. We're really just multiplying by one. But let's go ahead and do the math on top. Boom, so we got that. So now we're set to go. Um, the next step is to put all the numerators over a single common denominator. And we, we have the common denominator. It's two times two times three. So we're gonna move the nine plus 10 down there and I'm going to go ahead and multiply out the new common denominator, the same denominator, right? It's 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. And then we simply do the math on top of the fraction. It comes out to 19 over 12. If you have to uh, change it back into a mixed number, you simply divide the numerator by the denominator, just regular old long division. How many times does 12 go into 1? None. How many times does 12 go into 19? one and I multiply it and subtract it and I get seven and since this remainder is smaller than the divisor I just write it up like that 
So the final answer is 1 and 7 twelfths. In other words, 3 fourths plus 5 six equals 1 and 7 twelfths. So I hope that helped. MGZ.